Welcome back to New Zero Lands. So back in my range test video, I said that by riding with regenerative braking on, you could actually use more than 100% of your battery. And that sparked a whole five page debate on the electric motorcycle forum. Nobody seems to agree about what regen is doing. So I want to try and explain it as best I can with animation. This is going to be like a regen for dummies video and I'll try and explain it as simply as I can for gas bikers or anybody who hasn't experienced regen. So when you twist the throttle and do a huge wheelie, energy is moving from the battery into the motor and that makes the rear wheel spin and the bike go forward, right? And on an electric motorcycle, that means going forward real quick, instant torque and such. So normally when you roll off the throttle, the wheel is still spinning. You got it started and then the momentum keeps it going, like throwing it into neutral and coasting. Your speed only drops a little bit from friction on the road and wind resistance. But turn on regen and two things happen. This time when you roll off the throttle, the bike slows down, kind of like using engine braking. But the motor also turns into a generator while it's slowing you down. It's able to convert that rolling kinetic energy from the wheel to electricity and put it back into the battery. If you want to know what's technically going on, the battery sends energy into some coils in the motor and that moves these magnets which spin the wheel. What regen does is the opposite. Your wheel spins the magnets, forcing power back through the coils and into the battery. Kind of like those workout machines where you power the gym while you're working out. Induction motors are a little bit more complicated than that, but that's the general idea. So regen allows the motor to recharge the battery while you're riding. Regenerating, if you will. And that's the part that I think is magic because gas bikes, the engine is always running, right? Always pulling fuel from the gas tank. You roll off the throttle, engine's still running, still burning fuel. And when you want to slow down, grabbing your brake just turns that rolling energy into heat, which seems like a waste. Instead, imagine any time you roll off the throttle or downshift, or you're riding down a hill, your tank is filling back up with fuel. And that's the part I want to talk about, because suddenly your gas tank has more fuel, so you can ride further. Let's say your electric motorcycle has a 10 kilowatt hour battery, and there's a mountain that's so tall that it takes the entire 10 kilowatt hours to get to the top. I'm going to call this 10 kilowatt hour mountain. So you start with a full 100% charge at the bottom and get to the top with 0%. And then when you turn around and go back down, the regen charges the battery back up. By the time you get to the bottom, the battery could have regenerated 1 kilowatt hour. So you've already used 10 kilowatt hours going up, which was the full capacity of your battery, and now you have more. That's how you can use more than 100% of your battery. Because at the bottom of the hill, you can keep riding another 10%. The bike says, not only am I riding down the mountain for free, I'm going to put extra energy back into your battery so that we can ride a little bit further. And if my math is correct, you just used 11 kilowatt hours, more than 100% of your battery. You can't recharge your whole battery by using regen, at least not by riding down the mountain. You just get a little bit back. It's like you spent $10 and then you get a dollar change. There are situations though where you can fully recharge your battery using regen. People have towed their Teslas buying trucks with the regen cranked up to like 50 kilowatts. So it recharges really fast, but if you think about that, it's just kind of turning gasoline into electricity, right? It's not the usual magic when regen gives you extra energy just because you're going down a hill. Since electric motors are fully controllable, there's a few ways of using regen. So you can crank it all the way up to simulate that one pedal driving style like a Tesla. This is really easy to do on Energicas because the regen is so strong. You can really ride most of the time without touching the brakes. It's crazy and it's really different, but I like it. Or you can turn the regen all the way off so that you just coast. And this actually seems to be the most efficient way of traveling. You end up getting the most range, but that really depends on where you ride and what speed you're going, and that's a huge debate in itself. If we go back to the mountain, let's say instead of using regen on the way down, you just coasted the whole way. Your momentum from coasting might actually take you further than it would have if you used regen. But again, that's debatable. If you have to stop anyway, you might as well use regen and charge that battery up. So what seems to be the most popular setup among electric motorcycle people is no regen when you're off throttle, so you just coast, and then 100% regen when you're on the brakes. Because you can actually half pull the brake lever to trigger the regen before using your brake pads. Kind of like with a camera where you half press the shutter button to focus for all my photography nerds out there. So yeah, that's regen. Think of it as adjustable engine braking that can magically refuel your tank. But this feeling of seamlessly blending between acceleration and braking all through the throttle is something very unique to electric motorcycles. And it's a huge reason why I like them so much. And it's a huge reason why I bought another one, which I'll talk about in a future video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.